This week's knife fall is the inverted spire, and the weapon that is dropping from the knife fall this week is the hothead. The adept version of this weapon is also dropping this week if you complete the Grand Master difficulty of the strike. Editor Sniper coming in right quick. I forgot to mention that this will be the last week to get this weapon, and Nightfalls are dropping two times the loot, so you have no reason not to farm this Nightfall. If you need a guide on how to beat the Inverted Spire Grandmaster, I've left my guide in the description below. Anyways, back to the video. In today's video, I wanted to cover the best rolls on this weapon so that you know what to farm for. With that being said, let's get into the video. Now I know the Hot Hand is not a new weapon at all. It was first introduced back in Season 15 and its adept version was made available when GMs were made available later that season. So why am I choosing to make a video on this weapon? Well with the release of Witch Queen, this weapon lost some perks in trade of gaining new perks in its perk pool. So while you may have gotten one in Season 15, you may not have the God Roll available in this weapon. I'm also choosing to make a video on this weapon because Arc 3.0 is releasing on August 23rd with the release of the new season, and this weapon has a good chance of being insane with Arc 3.0, so I want to make sure you have a good roll going into next season. Enough with that though, you'll mainly want this weapon for PvE, as this weapon does have some solid rolls for PvP, but this weapon mainly shines bright in PvE when compared to other rockets. For the weapon roll, aim for a volatile launch or quick launch in column 1, impact casing or alloy casing in column 2, Field Prep Demolitionist Tracking Module or Auto Loading Holster in Column 3, and Clown Cartridge Explosive Light or Lasting Impression in Column 4. Getting a combination of any of these perks will provide you with a rocket launcher that will slay any and every enemy you come across with ease and will let you do massive damage to any boss you fight. It is worth noting that you'll want to avoid the combination of Auto Loading Holster and Clown Cartridge as they don't both work together. So if you auto load your weapon, it won't proc clown cartridge, and if you manually reload your weapon for clown cartridge, then you won't be able to take advantage of auto loading holster. The role I'll be looking for is quick launch in column 1, impact casing in column 2, demolitionist or auto loading holster in column 3, and lasting impression in column 4. This combination will make for a DPS machine. Now we'll wrap up today's video. If you found the video useful, then be sure to drop a like as it will be greatly appreciated. Be sure to subscribe for more Destiny content coming every weekday. Finally, follow me on all of my social media platforms, all linked in the description below. With that being said, I'm Sniper Cage, and I'm out. Good luck with gaming.